This is Coogan Cassis Rifles, even in association with Macklin's Gym Marlboro. We're in New York here, head of uh, Golovkin and Mule this Saturday night. With me, I've got trainer Abel Sanchez. How are you, Abel? I'm doing great, man. Yeah? Great week. Start of fight week. Uh, yes. Had a media workout here today. Um, how's Gennady been? He's been very good. Uh, he's weights on check. He's motivated. He finally has a challenge in front of him that he perceives as a threat. So it's been uh, a great camp. A common perception of this fight is that um, it won't last very long, and uh, the new style was made for Golovkin. And you know, he's a lot of people I spoke to say he's going to take him out early. What do you make, make of that? I think it's their styles are made for each other. I, I think that Lemieux is a heck of a fighter. I think he's a great puncher. Um, I don't see it going past six, but not because I uh, I think Golovkin's going to blow him out. I think it, the guy that lands the first shot uh, is going to go home the winner. Um, they both punch hard. Obviously, this fight, together with next month's fight in Las Vegas between Canelo and Cotto, can you see the winner fighting each other? I know that it's, there's a man mandatory situation there, but can you see that actual fight happening? You know, I, I, at times I see it and at times I don't. I, I think that it's a fight that boxing needs. I think that it's a fight that both of those guys need to, in the people's eyes, that especially if the fight on Saturday and this Saturday night is as explosive as I think it's going to be and Golovkin does very well, then I think the people are going to demand it. But whether they do fight each other, I don't know. Uh, I would hope that they would just for boxing sakes. How long can you see Gennady staying at middleweight for? Oh, he weighed 162 yesterday. He has no problem making uh, once, once. But for the sake of big fights for him, if he can't get him at middleweight? Uh, you know what? We'll worry about that uh, probably in two, late 2016, early 2017. Right now we have uh, the winner of Canelo Cota if they fight us or the next guy down to get the 160-pound title uh, if he's successful on Saturday. So that would be the IBF, WBA, and uh, the WBC title. That takes us into next year. Andy Lee has said that he's uh, interested in fighting us uh, here in the, at the Garden. So that takes us into late 2016. So. That's the, that's the question that I think uh, can be best answered in, in September 2017. 16, I'm sorry. 16. Yeah. Um, there was talk, I mean, uh, a year, a couple of years ago of Lee fighting Golovkin. Uh, the fight never happened, but uh, with Lee with a, a WBO crown. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, uh, that months before that uh, happened, that fight was to happen, and Gennady's father unexpectedly passed away. So the fight was not uh, ended up not happening. He didn't fight that time. Uh, I think that was in April of the 26th of April or something like that of last year. Uh, but now Andy's a champion. That makes it even a better fight now because Andy's a champion and he's got something to lose. As I see this kid trying to lose the IBF title, he's not going to lay down and lose it. Uh, he's going to fight his butt off and that's what's going to give us a great fight. And when we fight Andy, if that's the case, Andy will be a WBO champion and it's going to be a great fight too. Andy Lee has a mandatory challenge at the end of the year, Billy Joe Saunders, so I'm sure he'll have something to say about that. You know, well. Billy Joe, I don't think is quite ready. I think he's, Billy Joe's in the same position that William Monroe was with us in the last fight. It's just, they're almost there. They, I don't think that they're ready for the experience of Andy Lee and, and, and the punch of Andy Lee. The rise of Golovkin's uh, popularity has just soared over the last year, year and a half especially, and 20,000 people will be at Madison Square Garden, and his popularity is, is ever increasing, Abel. You know, I think that he's given us, me as a fight fan also, he's given us the kind of fights that we remember. You know, back in the 80s, back in the early 90s, uh, he's given us the kind of fights that we want to pay to see. He's given us the kind of fights that uh, we're going to talk about over the water cooler, you know, the next day at work. Uh, when you can sit down at, 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 at a, on front of the TV and, and expect a dramatic ending, uh, as Tyson used to do for us, uh, it makes you want to go back to boxing. People were going away from boxing because we were having ballets, we were having dances. Uh, people were tired of that. Uh, they want to see a fight, and this is what the kid, this kid brings. And, and I think it's evident by the the reaction of the fans, and, and hopefully the pay-per-view numbers are, are good enough so that we do this again. Just finally, a lot of talk after Floyd retired or apparently retired uh, back in September about who is currently pound for pound uh, number one in the world. Um, in your opinion, you don't look past Gennady? You know, or? Really, it doesn't really that title is for you guys. It really, that title really doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that he does well and he performs well. But there's three or four guys up there that it could be pound for pound. You know, Vladimir's had, what, 
20 defenses or something like that. I mean, you got to consider him. Chocolatito is fighting an undercard with a great record that he has and the fighters that he's fought and he's moved up three divisions. You got to consider him. The winner, Coro Canelo fight, you got to consider the winner of that fight. Uh, Andy Lee, if he beats Saunders the way that I think he's going to, he's got to be considered. So there's a lot of guys up there that I think that are, that are, should be considered. If you guys in the crowds and, and everybody considers Gennady, thank you very much. I, I think we've done hard work and we and he deserves it if you guys think he does. But that's up to you guys, that's not up to us. All right, Mr. Sanchez, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and I'm sure we'll catch up with you later in the week. It's going to be a, a great week here in New York. Uh, yes, it is. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.